Hi, I'm Jonathan Van Dyke. Uh, I'm here in my studio in Brooklyn, and I am the 2022 Visual Artist in Residence for the Chelsea Music Festival. I work at the crossover of painting and performance, and I'm excited during this year's festival to have my work presented in relationship to different performers throughout the festival week. And I'll also have a solo exhibition of new work presented at Highline 9, a gallery space in Chelsea. No artist's work unfolds in a vacuum, and I'm particularly interested in how any person's work unfolds as the result of a series of relationships. Relationships to the artists that came before us, um, relationships between different media, so in my case that's painting and craft, painting and sculpture, relationships amongst the people that we collaborate with, and in my case, I collaborate often with dancers and other performers. But you can also see that my work literally is about relationships and that my paintings are made of hundreds of pieces of material that have been stained and painted and then sewn back together into one whole. In this work, all of the materials have been gathered from friends and family members, including from people that I've lost during the course of the pandemic. And so there is a feeling um, that the work is made through and because of these other lives that were lived in these materials. I think every time we look at a work of art or we hear a composition, it's really important to think of everything that was happening around that work of art or composition. And for me, uh, the last couple years have been really um, bolstered by how many people in the uh, arts community here in New York and beyond have taken part in issues related to social justice, around black lives, around trans lives, around uh, reproductive health, um, and that all of that is sort of happening around what happens in the studio. So the studio isn't just only just this private place where we make our work, but a place that I think that we come into to process and think about how to give something back to the world, uh, whether that's an object which is beautiful and filled with emotional resonance that someone can hold on to and be a part of, or whether it's an object that has more direct representations of politics. I really want to make work that always has that sort of subtext around it, that feeling that abstraction isn't some form of forgetting, but it's a way of getting closer to the world, of letting the world in.